This episode is brought to you by ThePuzzler.com. In this video, we take a look at the least common multiple. Before we start rushing into unknown waters, let's first learn what makes up the least common multiple. First, what is the multiple of a number? We get a multiple of a number when we multiply the number by an integer. An integer is simply just a number that's not a fraction. We can multiply our number by 1, 2, 3, all the counting numbers, but not 0, to get a valid multiple. For example, here are the multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, and so on, adding 3 every single time. And here are the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, and adding 5 onwards. But wait, what is a common multiple? Common multiples. Here we have the first few multiples of 4 and 5 listed. The common multiples are just those that are common in both the lists. In the below lists, you can see that the common multiples of 4 and 5 are the number 20 and the number 40. Wait, what is the least common multiple? The LCM or the least common multiple is just the smallest of the common multiples. Here is a more rigorous definition of the LCM. The least common multiple, also known as the LCM, of a finite set of non-zero integers is the smallest positive number that is a multiple of each integer in the set. Let's look at an example to help us better understand the LCM. Here is an example. What is the LCM of 4 and 10? Pause the video for more time. Here are the multiples of 4. And here are the multiples of 10. Fortunately for us, there is a match. Both numbers share the common multiple 20, and it also happens to be the least. Our answer is 20. Not just two numbers. Just like it is possible to find the LCM of two numbers, we can also find the LCM of three numbers. As a matter of fact, we can find the LCM of any number of numbers. Here is an example. What is the LCM of 4, 6, and 8? Pause the video for more time. Here are the multiples of 4. And here are the multiples of 6. And finally, here are the multiples of 8. Can you spot that a common multiple? If you answered 24, you would be correct. You might be wondering if listing out the common multiples is the best way of finding the LCM. And the answer would be no. 
Let's look at a much more efficient way. The new method involves prime factorization. Don't know prime factorization? Just watch our video on it. The primes in the factorization of the LCM are the primes that appear in the factorizations of at least one member of the list, and their exponent is the maximum of the exponents that appear in the individual factorizations. Here is an example. Find the LCM of 4200, 3780, and 3528. Pause the video for more time. We have the prime factorization of each of our three numbers, 4200, 3780, and 3528. Using our method described earlier, the LCM can be read off from these factorizations by taking their maximum exponents for each prime. This gives us our prime factorization for the LCM, which amounts to 264,600. Basically, all the primes present in the prime factorization of our elements are present in our LCM. The exponents of each of the primes in our LCM is just the max exponent of the prime in any of the element numbers. Now that we are done with that, let's look at some properties of the LCM. The LCM of a list of numbers divides any other common multiple. The LCM is related to the GCD, which we look at in a future video. The LCM of ABC is equal to the LCM of the LCM of A and B and C. And the LCM has many uses in word problems. Here is a problem that shows us why the LCM is so useful in all kinds of problems. The traffic lights at three different intersections change after every 48 seconds, 72 seconds, and 108 seconds, respectively. If they change simultaneously at 9am, then what is the next time that they change simultaneously? Try this problem with LCM. To determine when the lights synchronize, we have to find the LCM of 48, 72, and 108. The LCM of 48, 72, and 108 is equal to 432. This means that the traffic lights will change again after 432 seconds, which is equivalent to 7 minutes and 12 seconds. If the lights change at the same time simultaneously, at 9 a.m., then they will change once again at 9 a.m., 7 minutes and 12 seconds. Think you know what the LCM is? A salesman goes to New York every 15 days for one day. Another salesman goes every 24 days again for one day. Today, both are in New York. After how many days will both salesmen be in New York? on the same day once again? Don't forget to write your answers in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications for my future videos and be sure to hit that like button. See you in the next video.